At today's Downing Street press conference, Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab tried to reassure the nation that Prime Minister Boris Johnson was still in charge, even while he was in hospital. But now we know that this evening he's been moved into an intensive care unit. And the statement released by Downing Street just in the last hour or so indicates that his condition has got worse over the course of the afternoon, the statement says. At around 7 p.m. local time, the Prime Minister's medical team therefore decided to move him into that intensive care unit. And he has, we've been told, asked for Dominic Raab to deputise for him. That means that Mr Raab will not become temporary prime minister as such, but he will now have decision-making powers where if he needs to make any decisions while Boris Johnson is incapacitated in hospital regarding the coronavirus or indeed regarding national security, he will have that role. And as you say, there will be some suspicion among people in the nation that Downing Street wasn't entirely transparent from the moment that Mr Johnson was admitted to hospital for what they called routine tests. And most people are aware that in the current climate, people are only taken into hospital if they're having breathing problems. Uh, we weren't told that was the case with Mr Johnson. We are told now that he is not apparently currently on a ventilator and that he has been moved into the intensive care unit as a precaution should he need ventilation in order to aid his recovery. So the wording very carefully worked out to suggest that he is not currently on ventilation, but obviously the move into intensive care means that his condition must be that much worse than previously. And now he will be under much closer scrutiny, under closer watch by doctors and nurses in a more one-on-one -on -one capacity. And Jonathan, it's just 24 hours since the Queen told the British nation to show self-discipline and resolve in the fight against the pandemic. How is the country showing its support for the Prime Minister given this latest development? Well, there's no getting around the fact that having a prime minister in intensive care is quite a big deal at the best of times. And these are currently not the best of times by anyone's reckoning. So to have the prime minister suffering from the very virus that he and his government are trying to fight the spread of, indeed, all governments around the world are trying to fight the spread of COVID-19 and coronavirus, uh, this is definitely momentous news. Uh, now, we currently are told by Downing Street that Boris Johnson is not on a ventilator, uh, that he is not currently having uh, that sort of intervention. That's quite a big deal. But that doesn't mean that he isn't on oxygen. He probably is, though that hasn't been confirmed. Uh, and indeed, his condition is quite severe. So this is something of a warning for the whole nation. Boris Johnson is in his mid-50s. Uh, he's somebody who isn't known to have other medical conditions, though perhaps he is classified as obese or overweight, which is a risk factor for those who can get coronavirus uh, in, and might mean that some of them suffer worse. Uh, but this is a warning to the nation. If anyone in the country is currently unsure about the severity of coronavirus, and there are still those who say that they don't believe it's anything worse than a flu, perhaps this will prove a warning to them down in Street will be hoping that even the Prime Minister can suddenly take a turn for the worse and need this sort of medical attention.